click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, myself Professor Uday Bukre and now I am welcoming you on your own YouTube channel Ikeda. If you are watching this video for first time, I request you to subscribe to our channel Ikeda and also press bell icon for your latest notifications. Friends, we are going to learn today for C enter course accountancy subject topic name cash flow statement question number 4 which is on your screen. Let's read the question. Let's read the question students now. The balance sheet of Sun Limited for the year ended 31st March 2000X1 and 2000X0 were summarized as. So, you have two years consecutive balance sheet diya hua hai, 2000X0 and 2000X1. Fine. Equity share capital earlier it was 50, now it is 60. Reserves include 4000 as an opening balance, closing balance is 5000. Current liabilities, trade payable, taxation. Taxation we take separately. Dividend payable we take separately. For us, these two are not covered in your current liabilities. For us, current liability will include only here trade payable. Fixed assets are given. Premises, there is no change. Furniture, there is a change. Vehicle, there is a change. Short term investment is your cash and cash equivalent. Current assets include inventory, trade receivable, bank and cash. So, ye bhi apne liye kya ho gaya? cash and cash equivalent. Okay. Next, profit and loss account for the year ended 31st March 2000 X1 disclose the fourth fact. So, ye fact lo nahi hai. Before tax, ye profit ta, taxation itna hua hai. After tax profit ye hai. Dividend declared is given. And retained profit is 1000, which you can notice it is added in your PL account. So, have a patience, we will come for that later on. Further information is available depreciation for the year, it is debited to the PL account. So, PL account may debit hota hai. and we know that when it is debited to the PL account, being it is a non cash expenditure, it will be added back to get the cash profit. Disposals means sale, sale of which asset vehicle. Proceed of disposal 1700, return on value 1000, profit on disposal 700. Fine, it must have been credited to the PL account. Prepare a cash flow statement for the year ended 31st March 2000 X1. Okay, so let us prepare the cash flow statement. Now, I am just explaining, I did the format of cash flow statement. Sufficient space is kept for every activity. You can notice I have written closing balance of PL account minus opening balance of PL account. This will give me a net change of rupees 1000. Whatever I have written here in black, it is more or less permanent kind of format what we will prepare in almost every question. Thereafter, we will do adjustments of PL account. In PL account adjustment, what we will adjust? We will adjust all non cash and non operating activities here. Those amount which are debited to the PL account, but they are non-cash or they are non-operating, then I will add back so that I will get the cash profit. And similarly, for credit side, we will do. Whatever I get after this will be called as operating profit before changes in working capital. After that, changes in working capital we will apply. After that, what we get from that is a cash from operation before tax. From that, we will minus tax paid. If there is a tax refund, we will add. Just for your sake, I have written it. Otherwise, I have to write only paid or received. Cash flow from investing activity sufficient space is kept. About 8 to 10 lines are maximum required. And on my last page, you can notice last activity cash flow from financing activity. So I am ready with the format. In exam also, you be ready with the format so that placement of the amounts will be very easy for you. Let's begin with the question now. Now, sir, in this way, question is given to you. But where to begin with? I always suggest you to begin with your additional information rather than this balance sheet which is there. Now, what additional information says? They are saying a return profit is 1000 which can be seen here. It is a net profit which is added to your PL account. Okay? But what they did while doing that? While doing that, they have declared a dividend of rupees 2000. So it is non-operating item which is debited to the PL account. So what I will do? I will add here. So, dividend declared I have added here because it is non-operating item which is debited to the PL account. 
so actual dividend paid will come in your financing activity so for that i need to prepare a dividend a payable account or dividend account that will be sufficient students you can notice they have given you dividend payable account opening balance 1000 closing balance is 2000 fine if this adjustment is not there what i would have done i would have assumed last year tax has been paid and dividend uh, last year dividend has been paid and this year dividend is just proposed that is debited to pnl account so same is going to happen but we will prepare the account opening balance of 1000 closing balance they gave you 2000 And this information says that 2000 card dividend is debited to PL account. So my entry will be dividend account debit, sorry, PL account debit to dividend payable account. My entry will be dividend account will be credited, dividend payable account will be credited, PL account will be debited. So my entry for this is PL to dividend payable or declared. Okay, so here I will credit. It is dividend declared. I am finding difference of rupees 1000 here. It is which account dividend payable account. The difference is must be a dividend paid by you during the period. So my entry will be dividend payable account debit to cash or bank account. Whenever I am saying cash and bank account, that means I am trying to say that it is a part and parcel of your cash flow statement. In cash flow statement, it will be mentioned in your financing activity as a less item. Okay, so I am going to the cash flow statement now. Financing activity 1000. Okay, so dividend paid 1000. Done. In PL account, you can also notice taxation is debited 1500. It is just a tax provided. It is called as a tax provision done. So it is current year tax provision done which is there that means this tax you must have paid same like dividend but I will still prepare account provision for tax account. Taxation account which is there on your liability side is basically a provision. So opening provision is 1000 closing provision is 1500. Now your PL account says that how much tax is provided in current year. Tax provided in current year means what entry they must have recorded. They must have recorded entry PL account debit to tax provision. So tax provision account will be credited. Tax provision account will be credited. It is 1500. Now I want to close this account. 1000 on debit side. Provision account has been debited. Means provision has been used. Provision has declined. Provision will decline only when you pay the tax. So here I will write to cash or bank account. Tax paid 1000. This I will record in my operating activity. Less towards the end of the activity. You can notice cash flow from operating activity has begin, begin here. But cash tax paid ke liye alag se apne ba space hai. Here, as per working note number 2. Okay, so tax paid done. So, whatever adjustment they gave you as the information that we have done. Now, let us see additional thing. They are saying for furniture, there is a depreciation of 1000 which is debited to the PL account. So, PL account debit to furniture account direct entry, you must have recorded. Let me check whether your furniture is moving in the same line. If you check, Students, your furniture from 11,000 it has become 17,000. If there is only a depreciation adjustment, it would have become 10,000. But now you can note it is 17,000. So it is not matching to our calculation. So I will prefer to prepare a furniture account. Students, it's not furniture, it is fixture. So fixture account we will prepare. So students, I have written opening and closing balance in fixture account. So let me see depreciation effect now. They told you depreciation on fixture is 1000. So what will be my entry? PL account debit to furniture account, fixture account credit. Depreciation is debited to the PL account. Can I say it is a non-cash item debited to PL account? So in PL account, I need to add back to find out the cash profit. So I am going to the operating activity now. I will add this amount depreciation on fixture. 
it is added because it is non cash item debited to the payl account so to find out the cash profit i have added it now there is no other transaction in your fixture so let's try to find out the balance of that fixture account is debited so can i say fixture has increased agar it increase hua hai to we must have purchased the fixture so i will say to cash or bank account and when i am saying to cash or bank account means definitely it is a part of cash flow statement but in which activity we will write fixture being a fixed asset it will be considered in your investing activity as a cash outflow so we paid for fixture purchase next also in vehicle there are so many transaction there is a depreciation there is a sale of vehicle so it is better to prepare vehicle account now firstly let us write opening and closing balance of vehicle opening balance is 8000 closing balance is 12500 now let us go for the information यहाँ पे इन्फॉर्मेशन दिया है व्हीकल का डिप्रीसिएशन 2500 जिसका एंट्री पी एन अकाउंट डेबिट टू व्हीकल होता है पी एन अकाउंट हैज बीन डेबिटेड नॉन कैश एक्सपेंडिचर इज डेबिटेड सो नाउ आई विल ऐड टू द ऑपरेटिंग एक्टिविटी राइट सो डिप्रीसिएशन इज डेबिटेड टू पी एन अकाउंट दैट्स वाई माई प्रॉफिट हैज शोन लेस सो आई विल एड बैक टू गेट द कैश प्रॉफिट here they are mentioning that ke there is a sale of vehicle proceed of disposal for this my entry will be bank to vehicle account bank matlab cash or bank debit to vehicle vehicle account is credited cash comes in investing activity will be added by rupees 1700 sale of vehicle they are saying return down value is 1000 but how much i have credited here 1700 so 700 extra vehicle account debit to pnl so this property we will transfer to pnl account by default so here i am writing vehicle account debit to pnl account now you can notice 1000 is net credited here but pnl account has been credited so my profit has increased but is this operating item no it is non operating item so my profit has been inflated to yahan pe main kya karunga less karunga simple term mein bolunga jab maine pnl account credit kiya to main yahan pe minus kar raha hu minus kyun because mera pnl account credit hua hai aur pnl account credit hua hai to mera profit inflate hua hai to find out the correct cash profit mujhe wo minus karna pada next now i need to close my vehicle account friends you can notice vehicle account is debited that means vehicle has increased increase kab hoga jab maine purchase kiya hai so i am writing here to cash or bank account now tell me student cash or bank account hai to cash outflow hoga agar wo cash outflow hai to cash cash flow statement mein aayega kaun se activity mein aayega sir because ye fixed asset hai investing activity mein less ho jayega ye purchase hai we are basically deriving how much amount of fixed asset or vehicle has been purchased with the help of working note number 4 vehicle purchase investing activity mein less hoga working note number 4 has given me the amount for purchase of vehicle that we have done we can say that all additional informations are covered now we have to just see remaining amounts from your balance sheet share capital from 50000 it has become 60000 so what must be the reason issue of shares issue of shares means what will be our entry cash or bank account debit to share capital that's why it has become 60000 so 10000 debited to cash or bank means cash flow statement mein aayega kaun se activity mein aayega financing activity mein addition next pnl account is already taken care in the beginning current liabilities trade payable from 2500 it has become 4000 so it is a change in working capital so it will come in your operating activity in working capital sector where i am writing change in trade payable that is increase in trade payable increase in trade payable is your addition so cash outflow ruk gaya i can say that therefore cash inflow hi mana jata hai isko increase in trade payable adjustment for changes in working capital yahan pe main likh raha hu next 
ट्रेड पेपर वी हैव हैंडल्ड टैक्सेशन वी हैव हैंडल्ड बाय प्रिपेयरिंग अ वर्किंग नोट डिविडेंड पेबल वी हैव हैंडल्ड बाय प्रिपेयरिंग अ वर्किंग नोट फिक्स असेट एट डब्ल्यूडीबी प्रीमाइसेस देयर इज नो कैश फ्लो बिकॉज़ देयर इज नो चेंज फिक्सचर वी हैव ओपन एन अकाउंट व्हीकल वी हैव ओपन एन अकाउंट शॉर्ट टर्म इन्वेस्टमेंट इज योर कैश एंड कैश इक्विवेलेंट दैट वी विल सी लेटर ऑन इन्वेंटरी इज फ्रॉम 14000 इट हैज बिकम 17000 इंक्रीज इन करंट असेट इंक्रीज इन करंट असेट मींस व्हाट more cash got invested in current assets so that i am writing in my working capital segment increase in inventory 3000 why negative because whenever there is a increase in inventory more cash get blocked in the stock therefore negative rather whenever any current asset include definitely there is more cash involved in that current asset so we have taken inventory trade receivable from 6000 it has become 8000 so increase in trade receivable once again less ka concept wahi hai debtors bad gaya matlab apna cash bahut sara block ho gaya debtors mein 2000 ka theek hai in this we have handled my trade receivable and lastly cash and bank balance that we will cover in our cash and cash equivalent now it is a time to close our cash flow statement step by step please see how i am closing it This calculation will give me a last item operating profit before changes in working capital. So I need to find out that students, my operating profit before changes in working capital has become seven thousand three hundred. After I adjust the changes in working capital, it has become three thousand eight hundred, and my finally net cash generated from operating activity has become two thousand eight hundred. Okay, so this is my net operating cash flow. Hai. Thirteen thousand three hundred is negative here. means net cash used in which activity investing activity right third activity now this is my third activity net amount is 9000 positive positive ka matlab hota hai net cash generated from financing activity सो थ्री एक्टिविटीज हैज गिवन यू डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कैश फ्लो और ये सब कैश फ्लो को आप जब इकट्ठा करोगे तो आपको मिलेगा अपने कैश बैलेंस में कितना इंक्रीज या डिक्रीज हुआ है लेट्स गो फॉर दैट इफ यू कैन नोटिस फर्स्ट एक्टिविटी है पॉजिटिव फिगर ऑफ टू थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड बराबर है टू थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड सेकेंड एक्टिविटी निगेटिव थर्टीन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड लास्ट एक्टिविटी नाइन थाउजेंड पॉजिटिव इट इज वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड निगेटिव दैट मीन्स कैश बैलेंस हैज रेड्यूस सो नेट डिक्रीज इन कैश एंड कैश इक्वेलेंट ये मेरा नेट डिक्रीज हुआ है इसके साथ में अगर मैं मेरा ओपनिंग बैलेंस एड कर दूंगा तो ऑटोमेटिकली मुझे क्लोजिंग बैलेंस मिल जाएगा ओपनिंग बैलेंस ऑफ कैश एंड कैश क्यूलेंट फॉर दिस वी विल प्रिपेयर अ नोट ऑटोमेटिकली मेरा रिजल्टिंग बैलेंस जो होगा वो होगा क्लोजिंग बैलेंस ऑफ कैश एंड कैश इक्वेलेंट नोट वन एंड नोट टू ओके सो नोट वन वी विल प्रिपेयर ओपनिंग कैश बैलेंस कैसा हुआ है वो और नोट टू में हम लोग एक्सप्लेन करेंगे क्लोजिंग बैलेंस कैसे आया है ओपनिंग बैलेंस ऑफ कैश एंड कैश इक्वेलेंट कैश एंड कैश इक्वेलेंट विल इंक्लूड शॉर्ट टर्म इन्वेस्टमेंट एज वेल एज कैश एंड बैंक बैलेंस सो लेट मी चेक माई बैलेंस शीट नाउ In my balance sheet, there is a short-term investment of one thousand and cash balance is eight thousand five hundred, right? So let me write. Nine thousand five hundred as per note one. So my closing balance has to be eight thousand. ठीक है? Check करते हैं. To find out closing balance of cash and cash equivalent, short-term investment two thousand and bank and cash is six thousand. so you can observe my closing cash and cash equivalent is exactly the same what i am expecting so this is summarized cash book prepared in the form of cash flow statement hope you have understood this very easy question question thoda lengthy rahega hi cash flow statement ka but from knowledge point of view it is really important thank you for watching this video if you have any doubts please put in the comment box we'll try to resolve your queries at earliest thank you for watching the video